Hey YouTube, coming at you with an eight and two tryhard team. Uh, Quagsire at Lickitung Skarmory. There's not a ton to talk about this team, right? Swampert and Skarmory was one of one of the oldest cores in this game. Uh, Skarmory just not, not being able to hit really steals or anything, and Swampert taking care of that. Uh, so you can use Swampert, you can use Whiskash, you can use Quagsire. I decided to use Quagsire. I was kind of liking running. I used it earlier this season with the Mud Bomb Aqua Tail combo. Uh, Stone Edge is kind of useful. I just wanted to use the community move and I had it on my shadow. Uh, but the same concept, right? Your Quagsire is only weak to grass. Skarmory is going to deal with the grass. Skarmory is weak to electric and fire and has a tough time against steals. Quagsire deals with that and Lickitung safe swap. Not a hard team concept, but a very effective one. This is just a very old school <laughs> team to put together like this. Uh, and one that I've definitely put together these combos, Quagsire Flyer and Quagsire A9, like, or sorry, Swampert, Skarmory, Swampert A9, like, these are not new ideas, but they're sort of why they work, why they work even more now um, is that you have, like I said in my video this morning, if you haven't seen my video this morning, I would suggest go checking it out, uh, talking about how early risers and fallers, I said, like, all the flyers are coming up, um, which means grass has kind of gone away. So it means the mud boys are more unchecked. So the mud boys are kind of roaming free right now. Plus there's more like lanterns and stuff. So mud boys are in great position. Lickitung, I still think is a is one of the better safe swaps in this meta. Um, it's like ranked number two on P Poke, or yeah, maybe two on P Poke as a safe swap. Two or three. Uh, Lickitung, Gligar there is the best safe swaps. And then Skarmory, you can put Skarmory in the front, you can put Skarmory in the back. The stealing buff is good. Uh, again, very RPS if you haven't used it, right? You can either just like wall a grass or you can be on a lantern and just lose. So luckily we, in this matchup, as you just saw here, um, we both have Quags on the lead. We both go down at the same time. We let the game decide who's coming in. I got the Lickitung, they got the lantern. And now I have a Skarmory on a Venusaur. If this was a reverse matchup um, and they put in my Skarmory on the Lantern, I would have lost. Right? That's sort of what you're getting into. The team works. It's very, very balanced. But there are elements of sort of like when you're running a balanced team like this in matchups like this, this was a win for me because I was able to align the Lickitung on the Lantern and the Skarmory on the Venusaur. But had I not aligned it that way, it was a loss. Where's Scar I mean, Skarmory still has an absolutely brutal matchup against against Lantern, but Steel Wings at least. Mm, wait, how does Steel do against Electric? I feel like Lantern maybe resists Steel too, because I know Water resists Steel. This is where my lack of typings is coming in here. Does Electric resist? Re is electric neutral to steel or does it take super effective because maybe steel wing is also resisted but maybe it is just more hard hitting steel is double resisted interesting steel is double resisted electric resist steel steel resist electric resist steel or is water double resist steel? This is... Does electric resist steel Pokemon? Steel type Pokemon attacks are not effective against the steel, fire, water, and electric. Okay, now you know. That's just my uh, lack of knowledge from the main game series. Like, I knew the obvious ones, but sort of these other ones that you don't use in Pokemon Red, and I play like gold like once or twice. Uh, if they weren't in those series, the next time I touched Pokemon was Pokemon Go. So uh, definitely locked uh, in that experience there. You know of a Sun, you know of a Sunfisk? Uh, a lot of people talked about it being a nice potential core breaker. Uh, it's spammy. Nice coverage for Flyers. Has coverage for for um, mud bombs for lantern so it's not a bad pokemon but unfortunately for them 
like a time with Power Whip and just being very, very spammy is going to win this matchup. And now let's talk about the actual battles instead of just the rambling and typings and team build. But the thing is, like, why? it's not like I have to talk about this team a lot. Quagsire, you stay in with almost anything. Uh, <laughs> if you lose the lead to a grass or just, like, a really bad matchup, um, then you go into Lickitung. So Defense Deoxys, stay in, right? In fact, you know that they can only throw the Psycho Boost. They cannot throw... Um, they cannot throw Rock Slide or Thunderbolt because both are resisted. So I'm willing to I'm willing to chip here. Um, still come out with energy. Probably shield. I don't need to shield, but Psycho Boost Shield and Psycho Boost is probably the smart play. They're still staying in. This is this is kind of a dumb throw because it doesn't take out. They're just going another Psycho Boost. The problem is this doesn't take. This was where you should have gone Aqua Tail. That did not take out. And I would still need a second move. So if it's not going to take out anyways, just throw the Aqua Tail, double Aqua Tail, instead of throwing a Mud Bomb and then an Aqua Tail. Just like a waste of energy. Uh, Lick Tongue in here. I'm going to probably stay in here and just, I was going to say, I was going to chip a bit. And then, I, yeah, that makes sense. I was going to try and chip as much as I can, come out with energy, and then come in Skarmory where the fast moves, the charge moves are resisted. Although the... Uh, the licks, that's, that's the thing with, that's what makes Lickitung so powerful. Unless you're resisting the licks like your normal typing or dark, those licks do quite a lot of damage based on being a very bulk, just bulky Pokemon and, and get, it seems like you just get a ton of them off. Um, and then spammy with the body slams and then power for coverage is a pretty nice just combo. Uh, do get to move. I am just checking... Uh, damage per energy here on these move sets of Quagsire. I should doesn't consider stab here. Okay, so PV Poke recommends Mud Bomb and Stone Edge. So in terms of energy and damage and damage per energy, this does not take into consideration stab, which you would get on Aqua Tail and Mud Bomb. So Aqua Tail, 35 energy, 50 damage, 1.42 damage per energy. Mud Bomb, 40 energy, 60 damage, 1.5 damage per energy. And then Stone Edge is a 55 with 100, 1.81. I know it's a little more energy, but 1.81 out of 55 energy is a pretty good damage ratio. If you add on the 20%, what is it, 20% stab? I think stab is... A 20% bonus. Yeah, 20%. So 20% of 50 is will get you up to 60. So 60 divided by get my calculator here. 60 divided by 35 is a 1.71 for Aqua Tail. And then 20% there is 72 divided by 40, 1.8. Okay, so then you get, with stab, you're a lot, lot closer in damage per energy. So the mud bomb is basically at the same stab, uh, not sorry, same damage per energy, 1.8 versus 1.81. And then damage running on Octo is a little slower at 1.72, but it gives you a quicker charge move. So the recommended move set is Stone Edge. I think it's Stone Edge because um, I think it if with Aqua Tail and Mud Bomb you just limit yourself in matchups against like grass, like water and ground is just resisted. Um, in flying water Pokemon like Pelipper, water and ground are resisted. So R Stone Edge, the rock type move, actually gives you coverage and it gives you good damage per energy. And if you only have like one move to throw, like let's say you've charged up a bunch and you're only going to get one move off, getting off the 
the stone edge for 100 damage is the best move to get off. So with all that, I would actually probably run stone edge if I was using Quagsire again. I hate tamming away community moves, but I think it's probably worth... Um, I think stone edge is probably the way to go. Another defense deoxys, so I'll probably just stay in here. Again, just take the counters, probably shield the psycho boost. Get some chip off. There's no, I don't mind getting chip on off the defense deoxys just to like put it somewhat low. I do like somewhat coming out with energy too, just to see what comes in. This time I let the psycho boost go. You can live. Um, and again, it's a Vigoroth. Someone must have put out this core because I saw this Defense Deoxys Vigoroth like three or four times. So we'll do the exact same thing. Um, these rock sides do come quick. Vigoroth is right now the absolute go-to safe swap that I've seen. I've seen so many Vigoroths compared to Lictungs and Gligars and Medis and stuff like that. So it is definitely worth... Um, looking into again I went over that in my in my analysis this morning um, I will be by the time this is on when's this going to be on no never mind this is going to be on tomorrow afternoon I'm filming Wednesday night this is going up Thursday afternoon so I'm at rank 18 18 Yes, I'm at rank 18 right now. Uh, how many wins do you need? Um, wins required. Okay. You need... Oh, there's still 19. Okay. You still need... Am I at 18 or am I at 19? I think I'm at 18. So I need 18 more wins here, 19 more wins in rank 19. I've been very, very... Um, so I started with like a 51% win rate uh, after like two days, three days. It was like my worst start ever. I'm now up to like a... like 60% probably win rate at this point. And it was because like my, my defense deoxys trier team the other day did okay. Uh, this team went eight and two, a Sableye team coming. Yeah, unfortunately it's going to be coming in like three weeks from now, but the Sableye team that I put, uh, did, that I used went nine and one. Uh, so I definitely got back a lot of what I sort of did lost early in the season. But not enough for a reveal before we switch out to Ultra League um, tomorrow. So top teams for Ultra League tomorrow. Top teams for... Um, top teams looking at the new Pokemon. Which I kind of already sneaked, talked about in one of my other videos. It is a very, very crazy, um, <laughs> crazy meta. Like... I thought I would not have to build up a lot of Pokemon because <laughs> I already had like Town Flame and stuff like that. But like Lantern, Skarmory, Skeledurge. Um, what's the other random one that I just ran into? There's like th four or five in the top 30 ranked. And I'm just like, oh, I don't have any of these built up. So we'll see if I'm going to build all those up. I'm, work I'm working on walking a Registeel because I want... If they're, I don't think they're going to nerf Registeel anymore because I think they're bringing enough counters in in the Great League to deal with Reggie. Uh, but I don't think there there's enough counters in the Ultra League right now for Reggie. Uh, so I'm tr I'm now just I'm like 70 XL short. So I'm just trying to walk it, but 20 kilometers up, it's going to take me a million years. I just got to hope hope it comes back again. And then yeah. Let me know in the comments below. I know I know I'm not even talking about the battles. It just there's not much to talk about with this team, right? 
I kind of already mentioned. Quagsire, you stay in the league with everything. Badly, go to Lickitung. Hope you align Skarmory on anything super like dominant like this or neutral. Like it's it's a very easy team. You don't you don't need to discuss in depth about plays and strategy and stuff. Um, let me know in the comments below whether you are going to be playing Great League. I'll I'll put up a poll too. Great League. Um, Retro Cup or Ultra League. And then I'll showcase accordingly. The good news is tomorrow, which is today, I can probably finish two Retro Cup teams anyways. Um, so I could probably finish two Retro Cup teams and then I could probably do like a third one Friday morning and then I'll do a... I guess I could put out a third video Friday afternoon and film in advance, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Sandslash is just going to get uh, mud bombed here. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just laughing because I really appreciate one of the comments. So, as, I, as you heard, saw earlier with my does Steel resist Electric? There's a lot of stuff in the game that I just like make mistakes about. A lot of it around typings. Um, I sometimes just like, I meant to say like power punch one time for Medi and I said like counter instead. So I make a lot of mistakes like that and I just like shoot random thoughts for 20 minutes and then upload. Uh, and someone mentioned, so I, I in the game I, I, I went for Scald on Bastion, which is super effective, as opposed to going for Mud Bomb, which is double super effective because you hit super effective on the steel and on the rock with ground. So I should have gone the Mud Bomb with Wizcash, and a couple of the comments were just like, "Why did you throw Scald instead of the Mud Bomb?" And then another comment was like, uh, "Dan, so smart." He knows that Mud Bomb is better, but he throws Scald again because he knows people will come and comment and boost that YouTube algorithm. <laughs> so yeah, every time I make a mistake in the game that's like very obvious with like typings or something like that, there's always like three or four comments correcting me, which actually does drive YouTube algorithm because YouTube algorithm takes into consideration comments. <laughs> I joked that I was just going to like drop drop like one or two mistakes on purpose from now on just so people will come and comment on my videos <laughs> anyways that is it for great league how is everyone doing for great league how is your record how is how are you feeling about the meta i think the meta is good right now like i said in my video this morning it's good right now um what will it look like when you get your like actual rating and you're at an ace rank. Will the meta shift at that point? Uh, and we'll see. The answer is we'll see. This is where Stone Edge would be much better. And it's not that much more. Like I probably have it now. It's not that much more than Mud Bomb. A couple Mud Shots. Um, yeah, I think I need to put Stone Edge on this. Because this with Aquatail is just like not great like it takes like four or five to take out mandibuzz this is where it's like wh why i have a problem with this is like i don't want to tm away a community move of aqua tail on a shadow pokemon at that i don't want to have to tm because not that i think aqua tail will be buffed but if Aqua Tail is ever buffed, you take it away on this and then you have to put it back on. So your options are that. You take it away and try and put it back on with Elite TM. Or you hope you find a second Shadow um, Shadow Whooper that you can get to a Shadow Quag that you have one Community Day move set and one um, just regular move set. And it's just like, ugh, both are... It's either you're wasting TMs or you're wasting dust and stuff there. So kind of a rough trade-off. 
Yeah, this game's over too. I think I stay in this just because, like, I could top left because there's no win condition here. But I think I stay in this because I, I wanted to see how much a Brave Bird did to a Lantern. And the answer is, like, 25-30%, something like that. I do grab both shields. I, I, I uh, bait the power whip. Go body slam back to back. They shield both. But again, this game's over. Doesn't matter. But I do get it down to the yellow with, with a, a sky attack brave bird combo here. Because I am loaded with energy. Uh, I probably should have just gone back to back brave bird, right? I'm going to be taken out anyways. So there's no pre reason not to go back to back brave bird here. Obviously sky attack does nothing. Uh, as you're going to see with the brave bird here. They're in the blue, and it takes them pretty deep. Like, I don't think, I, I guarantee you two Brave Birds would not have taken out, but that would have put it, like, pretty, pretty close, and I think they would have got to the move before I got to two Brave Birds anyways, but it's not bad. How much does a Brave Bird from a Skarmory ice? That looks like it was closer to, like, 35% than it did, um, like, 25 so you have Skarmory, only with Brave Bird, and you have a Lantern with no shields. A Brave Bird does 33%. Okay. 65 damage, 33% on a Lantern. So if I went back to back there, that would have been 67. These steel... Wings are doing a total of three damage, one point five percent, right? So it's not, it's not much. So I hope this isn't too rambly for you. I know that you are used to my rambliness, but I think some videos are more rambly than others, and this feels like one of those that is more rambly than others. But I think we are basically done here. Yeah, this is the last matchup. And then we will go into tomorrow with some top teams as we head into the weekend. For Christmas, I, I'm lucky that Christmas is actually like a great league. So that's, I, that's easy. I, I can bank a couple matchups here, a couple matchups the weeks before. So I'll have videos over Christmas. I also have ideas for three other videos that I can bank ahead of time. So I'm going to tell you what they are and then let me know if there's any others that you will, you want to have that I can just like shoot now and bank. I think one that I do every year is just like a year in review. I look at my top shiny Pokemon, took a look at my top hundos, talk about the channel. So I think that's just one just one off video that I do every year. I'll do that. I'm going to talk about the algorithm. I'm going to do a whole video on the algorithm. Uh, because I, a lot of my comments are like, oh, this game's rigged, 50% keeps you at a 50% win rate. And it's like, it does, but it doesn't. So I wanna like go over all that with the algorithm. What was the third thing I wanted to do? I forget what the third thing was. Uh, but those are two, anyways, two videos that I wanna do for sure that I'll probably shoot in advance and go up during that last week of December while I'm, when I'm gone. But. That's enough. Enough talking for now. So thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.